Hey, this is YBR with Demolish and Build Company 2017. So we're going to go ahead and make a new profile. And you already know what it's going to be called. It's going to be called YBR. And I just noticed, wait, if it was just YB, it's like you can't have that name. No, names have to be at least three characters long. There's no such thing as a name. It's only two letters. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm seeing a truck right there. I'm going to drive that truck. I know this ain't no Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator or whatever, but I see that truck and I want to drive it. So this is my personal advisor. He says, hey, boss, let's get started. Our company is deep in debt and we need to get things running again. Well, if we're in debt, I don't know if I can afford a personal advisor. So you're fired. Yeah, right. I'm in charge of paperwork and can't help you in person, but I have some hints. You're my personal advisor. Best you can do is some hints. Well, I guess I'll take them. Best way to get cash is to do demolition contracts. Just get in the pickup truck and follow the waypoint to get started on your first contract. All right. And for a second, I thought this was like on fire. Like I kind of just saw it out of the corner of my eye when I was reading that stuff. I'm like, is that thing on fire? It's not on fire. It's just some flags floating up of it that happened to be red. So new tutorial, parking signs. Park your car in front of the sign, right? No, actually, it's uh, use parking signs to transport purchased vehicles to your current location. You can also use it to deliver vehicles that are stuck. So it's not just like you park your vehicles next to the sign. I mean, that would be kind of a waste, wouldn't it, to tell you that? Let's go ahead and get in my truck and uh, how we turn this radio off. X. There we go. Radio off just in case the music has copyright issues. And if we're in debt, I shouldn't be driving such a nice truck. Like, my guy, he got a brand new looking pickup. And this don't even look like a work truck. He got, like, the off-road roll bar in the back and a spare tire there. You should have, like, tools in the back. It works stuff, not that. Ooh, e brake, drift! That was actually beautiful. I cut that guy off so hard, but I cut him off beautifully. And I think I'm just supposed to be following the blue on the road, hopefully. Whoops, that one wasn't such a good drift. That one was ugly. Discovered industrial something. I didn't get to read that whole thing. Use parking signs to transport vehicles. Oh, I just read that. I didn't know that. Oh, you lose all your momentum when you go from one place to the next. No speedometer, though, so you can't really tell when you're topping at it. You just got to go based on feel. Actually, if there's another camera angle, does the speedometer in here work? Yes, it does. So we can use that for reference. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. I thought they were about to go straight. I'm like, I'm about to hit them. I'm not paying attention to where I'm supposed to go, though. Whoops. I was too busy looking at my speedometer to look at the map. At least I didn't overshoot it by mud. That is a very reasonable amount of distance to overshoot something when you're super distracted like me. Parking sign, parking right here. Okay, we can get out of the vehicle. New contract, hit T. Contracts are the main source of income for your company. Every contract requires some machine or tools to finish. Interact with the demolition sign to see details. Hello, demolition sign. Good to meet you. I'm here to interact. There's an unfinished concrete warehouse we own. The office inside is no longer in use and needs to be demolished. Remove the old canisters while you're at it. Accept contract. It's funny, like they give you the hint right there in the loading screen too, like just in case. You're like, no, I'm not hitting T, uh-uh. So it's like, fine, we'll tell you in the loading screen then. But I'm gonna hit T so I can know what worker sense is. Use your worker senses, default R, to highlight objectives. All right. Ooh, worker sense is like super dramatic. It's like, boom, worker sense activated. I saw I'm supposed to destroy these pillars. Here we go. Yes, hammer time. Come on, hit the, hit the, yes, there we go. Gotta hit it at the bottom so it tumbles. I guess you could probably hit it on the upper part too, but watching it tumble is the best part. And if you hit it on the upper part, like, you don't get no tumble. I mean, maybe you'll get a little bit, you know, a little tiny tumble. That's no, it's fun. You want to see the big tumbles. And then you got to break it down here anyways to, to completely remove it. Don't know how strict the game is going to be about complete removal here. Probably gonna be able to get away with doing just enough damage. Like if I was to just say, "Yep, that's enough," I probably could get away with that. Don't need to actually destroy the rubble. I mean, I'm just guessing. Because if they made you actually destroy the rubble, that'd be a little bit tedious. If they made you destroy some of it, that'd be fair. We'll see what the uh, game does though. Once we bring down all of these pillars, you know, should I really be in this building while I'm doing this? Wouldn't that just bring the roof down on my head? So I'm just like in your do 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 do, and then I get myself killed. Turns out it was an evil mission for my personal advisor. He wants to rule the company. We're not actually in debt. He was skimming money from the account the whole time. And he just wants to run this thing and get even more money. So he sets me up on a mission that'll get me killed. Oh, it just said task complete. So I don't even need to destroy this pillar. But I'm getting it anyways. Because I finished the job. 
Yeah, I could go and do all this. We're actually making money each time we break something. So if you want to maximize your money, you do want to just go around and break every single piece. But with only $2 a hit, I don't really know if it's worth your time because I'm pretty sure there will be better ways to get money because I have no idea how you'll afford much more than a hammer making $2 at a time in this game. So what was the other thing I had to do? I had to deliver canisters to the container. Let me do my worker sense. Oh, there's a canister, I guess, that green thing up there. Hey, will it explode if I hit it? Looks like it's a propane tank or something. Uh, I guess not. You're no fun, canister. You're supposed to blow up. And then we put it to over there. All right, I see. It says deliver. All right, let's try to throw this. Bowling! <laughs> he just dropped it! Come on, you're supposed to chuck that thing. Here we go. Mm -mm. You cannot chuck the canister. The way the physics work, you cannot just be like... Going NBA on this thing and chucking it from wherever. Is that one to grab? Yes, it is. You have to actually drop it in. Drop. Man, worker sense. I wish I had that in real life. Just any time I needed to find something, just doom. Oh, it's right there. Because there's so many times where I'm like, where did I put that thing? And I'm like, okay, was it on my desk? Yes, where on the desk? I don't remember. Was it below the desk, above the desk? I have multiple layers on my desk. Finding things can be a pain. If only I had... Real life worker sense. Like that. Boom. There's the canister. Otherwise, I would have been looking for a while to find that. Oh, my guy too tubby. He can't fit through. Come on, man. How fat is you? It's not even like a... There we go. I actually jumped over it. I didn't fit through there. I jumped over it and onto the ladder. He's too tubby to fit, but he's athletic enough to do some crazy jumping nonsense. Oh, huh. Can I have to grab it and then move slowly? Did I just move too fast? I guess so. I grab it and then move... Grab it and then move. Or is it because I'm touching the ground? Ah, it's because I was touching the ground when I was moving. I got it. But yeah, my guy's crazy good at parkour. Just not good at fitting through tight space. Come on, just pop that in. Awesome. Contract done. Hey, can we beat up my truck? <laughs> I like bust out the window. I lost my keys. All right, enter to finalize. And that's the same description we saw before, so we could just hit finish contract, I guess. Got that music kicking in. It means we did good. I'll see you get a thousand dollars plus three fifty. I think the three fifty was those two dollars stacking up over time. But if I'm getting a thousand dollars overall, probably not really worth my time to do those little itty bitty two dollar at a time things because a lot of that money came fast when the whole pillar exploded. Incoming call. Press enter. Hey, it's personal advisor man. I thought I fired you after you tried to get me murdered. Good job, boss. Keep it up and grab another contract nearby. That's it. All right. You know, you didn't have to tell me that, dude. I'm the boss. I know that. What is this? To unlock new machines and tools, you need to gain license levels. Every level requires a specified amount of experience points as well as completed land properties. Check license tab for more info. Well, we could go and look at that. So license. And we need to get a thousand experience. And we need to finish construction of a campsite. Then we can get a cargo truck, a nail gun, and a new construction worker. Oh, so you can get workers, and then all you do is delegate. You know, are you really much of a company if you don't even have any workers in the first place? Like, I know I say I'm the CEO of an IT company and all that, and it's kind of true. But it's like, I ain't got no workers. You know, I'm, I'm technically the chief ex executive operator, but I don't do anything for anybody else or, you know, control anybody else. Oh, we have a bulldozer. How do I drive that? I want to drive the bulldozer. Got to go to one of those signs. I'm sure we'll use it in a uh, mission soon enough. For now, we'll just use the truck to get there. Interior is a little low res on this. It's just for the gauges, you notice it, because you actually look at those. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Truck coming through. My car's heavier than yours. Go faster. Faster. Don't slow down! Oh, out of the way, you. You know, I can't do my mad drifting skills from the inside, though. If I want to do these mad drifts, gotta be in the outside and then hop out the truck as it's moving. That's actually a really good parking job. I didn't even crash. I thought I was getting it, but I somehow didn't. Here's another demolition in progress. We bought land in the industrial district, but it's a mess. Flatten the terrain and get rid of the weeds growing there. Probably the best way is to use a bulldozer. There you go. Told you we were going to use the bulldozer. And that's a tip I've already read. Like on that specific sign. New tutorial. Hazardous materials. 
Avoid hitting hazardous materials with vehicles. You can carry them away from the demolition zone to increase safety. All right, well, let me use my sense right here. Find one. Ooh, there's one. What happens if I hit it with my hammer? Nothing. What if I hit it with my truck? I want to blow this thing up. Here we go. Ha ha! Oh god! <laughs> my truck don't work no more! Ha ha ha! I have been, made a huge mistake. Broken vehicles' bodies can be fixed with a wrench or torch. Okay, so we gotta fix my truck, because I just blew it up. <laughs> fix my truck up! Right, is that actually doing anything? There you go, I was just uh, hitting the wrong part of the car. Or the truck. 70, 80, 90, 100, a truck is ready to go. So how do we get rid of the other one? <laughs> just run that one over too. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, you're not supposed to break those things with the red above them. Got it. Luckily, repairing my truck is free. I did lose $47 by breaking that box though. Hopefully there's no more of those because I'm really being dumb with this. I mean, like, I know me. I will try to be dumb again if I see another one. We need to get the truck out of here. Or just get it stuck in the dirt. Sure, that works, too. Remember what they said about the parking sign? It could get your truck unstuck, and it can spawn up your bulldozer. So we'll do both. Truck unstuck, and bulldozer spawned up. Good thing they didn't spawn them on top of each other. That would have been disastrous. Jeez, that guy almost hit me just because I cut him off. What is wrong with him? All right, run over the dirt. Oh, that's making me money. Look at that, two, 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 two dollars, two dollars. Paper, 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 stacking it. Wait, one dollar? I like the two dollar ones better. Like, is some dirt not as good as the other dirt? Like, I didn't really care if you got rid of that dirt. I wanted you to get rid of that two dollar dirt. Picky, picky customers here. You gotta get a lot of this dirt to actually get the points, don't you? Oh, you can even get it in reverse. Good. I don't have to try to go forward, although I can't seem to get that dirt. Oh, we could uh, lower and raise this thing. There we go. Well, I don't know if it got much lower than it was at the start. Oh, well, either way, I'm going to get all this dirt. Here we go. There is a lot of actual dirt right there. Get the dirt. Wow. Like, it don't seem like there's enough dirt. I don't know about this. Is it like another pile of dirt I'm just not seeing here? Worker sense activate. There isn't, is there? Huh. Did I mess it up by driving my truck through it? <laughs> Maybe I blew up the dirt and now I can't. Oh no. What have I done? I've ruined everything. There's. Wait, oh, there's more dirt over there. I see it. We're good. We're good. I was freaking out over nothing. I mean, it didn't make sense though. I did two really dumb things and you would expect there to be some sort of consequence. There actually wasn't, surprisingly. I'm very happy with that. Thank you for being so forgiving at the very start game. Is that another thing that's going to blow up? Yes, it is. Not going to touch it with my bulldozer. Don't want to damage that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here, pick it up. We're going to put it in the bed of my truck. Because what do you do with explosives? You just throw them in the bed of the truck. You don't even strap it down or nothing like that. I mean, I just assume it's a propane tank that's... uh. You know, it just happens to be a little bit more combustible than most propane tanks. I'm also supposed to run over the bushes. It's like, you know what? I don't want to pay for a gardener. Can you just, like, take out the bushes with your bulldozer, too? Like, I was like, yeah, whatever. I got a bulldozer. I could do whatever I want. Although I missed, like, half of them. Four more left. And there's only four in... Or there's four more left, and I have to get four more. So you leave no bushes remaining. I really do like that worker sense, though. That makes it a lot easier to be like, ah, oh, that's what I want to do. Like, up oh, there's my bush. Destroy. Destroy. Contract done. All right, hold on. Let me park my bulldozer right there in the middle of the street. That's the perfect place to park it. Hit enter. Finish contract. Get my celebration music on. Lost $47 because I was dumb. Still made a good amount of money, though. I made a, about $800 something. dollars. I don't remember the exact number because I wasn't paying that close of attention. Who dares call me? Ah, still my personal advisor. Some contracts require special tools. Follow the waypoint to the shop and buy an abrasive saw. By the way, 
You can take a taxi to any location previously visited. Just open the map and click on an unlocked location. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to drive my bulldozer around the streets. Taxi. Yeah, he just told me how the taxi works. Don't, you don't have to tell me again, game. I got this. I've read what he was saying. He's my advisor. I listen to him. Watch out, traffic. I have a bulldozer. I wanted to hit him, but this thing does not steer in as tight as I was hoping. Come back, white car. I'm going to destroy you. Does this have interior too? Oh, yeah. Wow, this thing got some soundproofing. It's nice and quiet in here. You go on the outside, and it's like you can hear that engine inside. Nice and serene. It's like the uh, Mercedes-Benz of uh, bulldozers right there. Interior quality and all that. Spectacular. Unlock new machines and tools. You need to gain license levels. Yes, I know that. See, I'm not editing out to the loading screens yet. Because it's like I might read a new tool tip that's important. After I get used to the game, it's like, yeah, I know these loading screens already. Shut up, game. When I get to that point, then I'm probably just going to skip through them. But right now, they get to stay. But they don't last too long. It's a pretty fast loading game, so I have uh, no real reason to worry about editing it out right now. I probably should have driven my truck right here because it's a lot faster. I mean, yeah, it's cool driving my bulldozer all over the place, but it's not fast. Although, come on. Oh, I was hoping that car would turn towards me so I could bash them up. Here we go. Yes, you can just shove cars with this thing. Ha! <laughs> Like, the dude's gonna come out like, I thought I parked my car over here. Luckily, there's no damage in the game, so you wouldn't even know I hit it with my bulldozer. Crash tools. We need an abrasive saw. Buy this. Are you sure you want to buy that tool? Well, the game told me to. I don't really think I'm not supposed to. New call. Sometimes you need to drive to a different location to take a contract. Just follow the waypoint. That's exactly what I've been doing. Backing up, backing up. I want to hit a car that's actually driving. I know it's such a bad thing to say, but it sounds like fun, doesn't it? Every time I find a car that's going the opposite direction on the road, they're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, I'm going away from you. You got no choice, though. You're going to get hit right here. Here we go. Huh. Oh, what? You can't push an actual car. You can push the ones that are just sitting on the side, but not that one. Hey, look at that. Is that like a skid steer right there? Oh, I want to drive the skid steer. Actually, there's a sign with it. Hold on, what's that say? Oh, for sale, how much? Skid loader. Same thing to YBRs. Okay, they're probably technically different. I don't know my construction machinery, all right? Ha! You got blocked. But yeah, that thing was $4,000. I don't got that. I got $1,800. Oh, my goodness. 500 meters away driving this thing. That's going to take way too long. Is there a sign anywhere to spawn up my truck? Don't know. Let's see. We'll just uh, do this. And have we been over there? Okay, we can't taxi cab to there because I haven't been there before. Um, Have we been to this sign? I don't know how to taxi cab. Thought it would just kind of show up or something. Either way, I'm going to run to the waypoint, grab my truck, and drive that because it's so much faster. Like, this might not actually be faster than just driving my bulldozer, but it's going to feel a lot more exciting when you go fast with your truck because you can't just plow through traffic like I was hoping. I thought there was a sign. There's a sign. Like, I know it's around here somewhere. Look for the thing that looks like fire. There's the sign. All right, here we go, truck. Up the hill, and away we go for the six, 700 meter drive now. It was 600 until I backtracked. There's <laughs> just a line of cars all waiting for the bulldozer. Yeah, he's not moving. That bulldozer is staying right there. That's funny. They're all nice and patient. <gasps> Your truck simulator mode right there. I could go and get that truck it looked like. There's a sign right there that says buy the truck. I know I can't afford it because I couldn't afford the skid loader. How could I afford the truck? I would think the truck would be more expensive. $4,000 for a skid loader, that's a bargain to me. I would think those things would be way more expensive. Could just be the way the, way the economy in this game works, though. I mean, it would take a long time to actually afford a real skid a loader. I was getting airborne right there. And when I figure I got a pickup truck. And I got, like, an off-road package on this thing. This ain't just your average everyday. Whoops. Hey, you could break the signs down. Cool. Uh, this ain't your average everyday work truck, though. This is like the off-road package. 
I'm going to make full use of my off-road package if I have the opportunity. Like, what is this? Potential shortcut? Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. It was a shortcut. It was an excellent shortcut. And I'm also going to do that where I hop out the truck and let it keep going. Ooh, right into the wall. Some old huts are falling apart. We need to remove them before somebody gets hurt. Except contract. That is about the taxi. Apparently, you just click on it. Huh. New tutorial. Sharp debris. Sharp debris will pierce your tires and damage the tracks. You can use the bulldozer shovel to remove them. Okay. I don't remember why I started calling debris debris. It's just such a fun word. I thought I was supposed to uh, cut things. Is this really what that's for? No, it says cut tin wall with abrasive saw. Where's the tin wall? I don't know where the tin wall is. Ah, there it is. I thought it was just another building down here. That looks like tin to me. Pop it out. Pop it out. That's actually a really pleasing sound. Just listen to that. The sound of the tin falling out. Listen to this. You notice there's even like small differences in the tone it makes. Not just the same sound every single time. That's one of those small details that's really easy to appreciate, if you notice it. Like for me, when I notice something like that, it's just, it just sounds so much nicer than having the exact same tone every single time. Hold on, these ones aren't broken yet. Okay. And then for those ones, it says, demolish wooden huts. Can I use my hammer? Nope. And I don't think an abrasive saw makes much sense in this situation. So we'll go over to the sign, pull out the bulldozer, and try that out. Bulldozer delivered. There it is. All right, this is the real test for the bulldozer right here. Oh, it actually just went right through it. Wow. Money going everywhere. <laughs> like, I just go in perfectly straight through it. I don't care. I have a bulldozer. Nothing can stop me. I just lost money, didn't I? Yep. Worth it. I'm on a path of rampaging destruction. And then I wasn't because I kind of got stuck. Good thing I didn't need to uh, worry about destroying that. So it said I could break those spiky things with my bulldozer, right? Let's see here. What? I thought it said I could... Hold on. Sharp debris will pierce your tires and damage the tracks. You can use the bulldozer shovel to remove them. Shovel. Oh. It's not a shovel, is it? Oh, it is a shovel. Huh. I'm not sure then. Well, let's go ahead and fix this thing up. Yeah, you, I'm going to use my saw to fix it. Is that actually working? Huh. Oh, no. Okay, so there's a difference. On this, it says replace if damaged. So I don't get to just repair the track. I have to pay 100 bucks to get a new one. I don't get why it didn't just destroy it, though, when I hit it with the... Oh. Okay, it worked that time. Okay, I'm going to chalk that up to a glitch that cost me $100. Which kind of sucks. Because that time it went right through it exactly how I expected it to work the first time. Oh well, keep bashing through these houses. This thing needs like a little bit more torque. Because it like gets stuck right there and you just got to inch back and forth. My dude looked like he uh, a very serious worker man. Though. I just noticed that he got like the safety vest on and stuff. He's like, I'm making sure everything I do is OSHA approved except for my driving. The OSHA wouldn't approve of that driving. Although... I don't know where this would even take place, so Usher might not be a, uh, a thing to him. Really? That's as far as he got? I thought we would plow through that building a lot more. Come on! Destroy the bit. What? This building too strong. Go to the other one. I don't got the momentum like I had before. Ooh, the body is damaged now. Okay, I am ruining my parts. This one you could actually repair, though, so really doesn't matter if it gets damaged. It just takes a couple seconds and we're good to go. 90, 100. Good as new. 
I think we only need to finish off one of these to finish the level. Maybe that's why it wasn't working so well. It was damaged up and it was performing worse. No, don't fall off the cliff! Stop! 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 No! No! No, you're gonna- Oh, no! Wait, I didn't destroy it. Awesome. I thought I was gonna destroy that accidentally. Oh, what am I crashing into? I guess just the base of the building I destroyed earlier. It sticks up a little bit. Man, I am doing really awful this mission, but it's being fun. Like, it's just the stupid things that are slowing me down that are fun. Alright, here we go. We got some momentum this time. Hit it! Destroyed. Next. Destroyed. Press enter to finalize. Finish contract. Alright. So I think that will do it for this video. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.